What's good, YouTube? Will McCauley, representing Demolition Fit. Um, today, I'm going to be speaking to y'all instead of showing y'all some workout videos. So the content going to be a little different. But it's mainly going to be about what it takes to get in shape, what it takes to, you know, lose weight and things of that nature. Um, speaking to a guy at the gym, and it got me thinking or realizing that a lot of people think that, you know, you can come to the gym three days a week, 30 minutes a day, and uh, see results. See results that, you know, they want to see in a timely fashion. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen, you know. Anything less than four days, um, and to be honest with you, anything less than four days, an hour and a half, whew, it's gonna be hard to see the results that you wanna see. You know, I always tell people, I'm like, if you notice, uh, let's say a person who, who, you see a lot of people who lose like 100 plus pounds, maybe on social media or whatever. Those people, honestly, were already very motivated before they even started. And the motivation led them to, to work out often, five days a week, maybe more, two hours a day. You know, you're not you're not gonna see somebody lose a hundred pounds in one year, three days a week, thirty minutes a day. If it was that easy, everybody would do it. You know, you're not gonna see somebody build a substantial amount of muscle three days a week, thirty minutes a day. Even if, you know, they're a beginner, the first time they ever worked out. And their central nervous system is shot because, you know, your first year working out, you could build a lot of muscle in the first year, about four to five pounds of muscle in one year, just because you're a beginner and your body's new to it. But three, I mean, you'll see results, but three days a week, 30 minutes a day. Nope. Um, I mean, obviously, if it, only you know your time and if that's what you told yourself, that's all you got, then you, you got to make work, you know, make do with uh, what you got. But. You trying to see real result, real, real results? You go need at least at least four days a week, and I'm also recommend five. But you know, I mean, where I I advise five, but you need at least four days a week, no less than an hour and a half, no less. I mean, you got to think it's so much to do in working out in thirty minutes. You know, unless you're going in and doing a circuit. And to me, I would. I honestly feel if you're me, I mean, unless you're doing that like one day a week on top of your your um strength training, but if you're just going in and, and just doing you know a circuit three days a week, you know that's not gonna get you to where you want to get to, especially if it's all cardio. You know, you, your goal is to is to lose weight and shape up. Doing all cardio ain't gonna cut it, and even. If that was your goal, just to lose weight, you know, your goal should be to lose body fat because that's when you see the results. But not just to lose the body fat, but to also build muscle in the process so that you just don't lose weight and, you know, look flabby. You want to you want some rock solid muscle up under there to show for that weight that you lost. You know, and strength training is the foundation you know, of, of fitness, you know, you, you don't just want to, you know, have shredded abs and, and be ripped up, but, but weak, you, you got to get in that gym and you got to, you know, put in that work. Now, yeah, if it was just straight cardio, then yeah, 30 minutes a day might do it, but no, you, you need a combination of, of both and whether it be on the same day or different days, but that's why three days a week won't cut it. Because you're really not going to be able to hit much strength training and cardio in 30 minutes. Anything that's effective, especially for only three days a week, you're going to have to do more than that. If you're trying to really do a full body transformation, you go look at anybody with a real body, not you no know, fake body, probably, but some, anybody with a real body that's natural, that's theirs, Um, see them get in shape and with 30 minutes a day for three for three days a week. 
you know, she somebody lost 100 pounds in one year, 100 pounds in a year and a half. See how many days a week that they're going to work. See how long they're at the gym. You know, maybe the first month or two, they might have did that just to get their body acclimated to, to strength training, get their central ner nervous system acclimated to, you know what I'm saying, the new wear and tear that is put on the body from the uh, strength training. But beyond that, four, five, some even six days a week, an hour and a half to two to two and a half hours a day. When you serious, you make serious time uh, for things. So, I mean, you serious about your fitness, you serious about losing 100 pounds, you serious about really getting your getting your strength up, you go make time for it. And uh, three, three, uh, three days a week, 30 minutes, it's not gonna cut it. And, and I hear a lot of people making excuses and they talk about their, you know, the, the kids and I see people at the gym on a daily basis, walk in with multiple kids, put them in the daycare and they go get their health together. Because I one time heard uh, the motivational speaker, hip hop preacher, Eric Thomas say, you know, if you to help, you got to take care of yourself. And you sometimes got to be selfish and prioritize yourself because when the help need help, how they go help you? If you're supposed to be the help and you need help, you know, so if you're the help, you got to keep yourself in good health so that you can continue to take care of the people that you love, you know. So being a, a parent and having multiple kids and saying, oh, you can't get to the gym or you can't work out, um, you should want to so that you can stay healthy enough to take care of them. So. And but that's that. Like I said, there's no excuse because I see single parents drop the kid off at the daycare, and um, and they're working out two hours. Daycare only at the gym I go to only uh, allow only watch the kids for two hours, two hours a day, seven days a week. Um. So and they got to about eight thirty, Monday through Friday, around six Saturday and around like three Sunday. So, and then there with their kids, that daycare stay filled up with dedicated people that, if, you know, fitness enthusiasts that really want to get in shape, that really want to, you know, see that full body transformation. Um, it's going to take time. Yes, you got to be consistent. It's not going to happen overnight, but it's definitely not going to happen anytime soon with three days a week and 30 minutes a day. Not the results that, that you want to see. And that and that's just the truth, you know. Unless you really want to see the minimalist results possible, then okay, then then yeah, then then, then do that. And there may be some exceptions to the rules where people got just you know a lifestyle to where they truly like a lifestyle where they have to prioritize other things to where they maybe only got thirty minutes a day. If if that's you, then then I ain't talking to you. you I mean that you know what you what your schedule look like, and if you truly only have like you're forced to only be able to do 30 minutes you then you're the exception you know there may be people that that's that busy ain't knocking you ain't talking about you but the ones that know they got more than 30 minutes the ones that's netflix and chilling on the hulu on the amazon video hbo max for two three four hours a day been watching tv shows and you're the person that's saying that, that you know, you want to see a full body transformation and you got um, only three days a week, 30 minutes a day. I don't even care if you're five days a week, 30 minutes a day, 30, three days a week ain't going to cut it. 30 days, 30 minutes a day ain't going to cut it. You going to need hour and a half, four to five days. And, and, you know, and I'm leaning more towards that five days. And I'm not saying it just because I'm passionate about, you know, working out and health and fitness. You know, for me, lifting weights is, is I consider it as, as a gift to me, you know, because to me, it just, it just came natural. Although growing up watching, you know, a lot of my favorite, you know, celebrities and and, and wrestlers and, 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 you know, martial artists uh, from like the, like the fighting movies, the action pack movies and stuff, I was already into it, but 
you know, when I started working out, I got acclimated real quick. It was, it just came natural to me. So, um, you ain't got to be like that to still put in that time because if you want to see results, you, you have to put in that work. You know, you see people losing that hundred pounds a year. I mean, people losing a hundred pounds in a year. Like I said, they are not working out three days a week, 30 minutes a day. I guarantee you. I guarantee you, you got to put in that work, especially the ones that's not only losing the weight, but packing on the muscle and looking shaped, looking like, you know, uh, Greek sculptures, you know, looking shredded, looking like Spartan. The ones that's going from, you know, 300 pounds to 190 looking shredded, look, look ripped up. The ones that's going from, you know, 130 pounds skinny, hitting 180 you know, looking straight, they, th them, they're really not putting in just no 30 minutes because, you know, they have that combination of losing the body fat and gaining muscle. That's why I tell people, if you want to lose, when people talk about losing weight, I got to do cardio. I prefer shrimp training over cardio. Shrimp training burns more fat in the long run. It's anaerobic. You know, cardio is more aerobic. So it's going to burn, that steady state cardio is going to burn less fat. Shrimp training is going to burn more fat in a short amount of time. And then shrimp training also, anything, the anaerobic shrimp training also burns more fat, more fat after the fact, once you're done. I believe the numbers when I was, you know, reading on it was like your body's still burning what calories for like 10 hours after shrimp training. And it was only like 30 minutes to an hour after like steady state cardio. I could be a little off on them numbers, but that is something I, I read. So, I mean, if you want that full body transformation, you're going to need a combination of both. But I'm going to always lean towards more shrimp training um, than cardio because you're not only building, you're building muscle. You know, higher muscle, muscle mass lead to higher metabolism. So... You don't really build muscle with cardio. You build muscle with anaerobic workouts, you know. Now, sprinting is a form of anaerobic workout that you would think is considered like cardio. But if you see like an Olympic sprinter, that's why their legs are huge because that's more anaerobic. You can build muscle in your quads and hams when you when you sprint. But other than that, you, you got to be in that gym four or five days a week hour and a half to two hours at minimum and uh, putting in that work, you know. If it was easy, three the three days a week, 30 minutes a day, everybody would see their results. Everybody would be working out. Everybody had a beach body. Everybody would be ready for spring in Miami in no time. All the New Year resolutioners start January 1st and be in great shape by March. It's not going to happen. You have to put in work. Hey, look at me. People look at me. I'm like 17 years of lifting. Five to six days a week. Two plus hours a day. It don't come easy. You know, and I understand people got work, kids, family. But, you know, if you don't have your health, then soon you may not have none of that other stuff. Because when you don't take care of yourself, there's consequences to bad health. It's like there's consequences to anything in life, you know. It's consequences, there's good and bad consequences. So for bad health, there is bad consequences. For good health, there is good consequences. Now, you can, it's people, there are people who may be in bad health and, you know, live very, very long. You know, that is a possibility. But... And may not have many health complications. You know, there are people like that. They are set for the rule, you know. But for the most part, when you don't take care of your health, it hits you. And it may not hit you, you know, soon, but it hits you in the long run. So we're just here today, different type of content to say, hey, I know, it, like, I'm beating a dead horse. Like, I'm... Um, basically repeating and saying the same thing to you if you really want to get in shape you need 
to be in that gym three, I mean, I'm sorry, four to five days, two hours. And, uh, and you need to be putting in that work. So this is my video for the day, you know, comment at the bottom by any questions, you know, like the video, share it if you found it helpful, um, subscribe to the page and uh, refer a friend. So Demolition Fit, William McCauley, until next week.